Hello guys, this is Mary J with Racing Common Sense Podcast and I am also recording this on YouTube for my channel. It is Majestic Angel on YouTube. Um, you guys can find me there, but how are you doing? Thank you so much for being here again. Are you even here? Are you... Are you guys out there? I mean, I should do this live because I barely do any edits on it at all. But maybe not so daring quite yet. Maybe I should. Nah, I'll think about it, you know? As of right now, guys, thank you so much for being here. And I have my little H1 Zoom that I really love. I just am running out of memory because I have quite a few recordings on it and I have not been able to upload and change and I like to keep stuff I'm a hoarder I'm like a, a file hoarder I don't even need the file and I'm hoarding the damn fucking file you know so I'm 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 learning that lesson to let go of some of my files that I've already you know uploaded and actually I have it saved in my external drive and I still can't let go of it in my little um, SD card, which is about like 64 gig, and I'm a file hoarder. I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here today. I, I felt a little compelled to um, talk about Twin Flames. I really... <laughs> I'm debating with myself because I feel uh, I'm going through uh, what a similar twin flame idea of lesson and I do get the bigger picture and I maybe you know I, you get to that which everybody is and the energy is and this whole twin flame is just it's really kooky <laughs> but I am here to talk about the sacred union and the purpose, what is the ultimate goal? What is the atmosphere of that goal? What is the what is the the idea, the theory of the twin flames and um, sacred union, right? And um, but you know, who am I to say and who am I to really talk about this? Because but I am still here going to give you my two cents on Twin Flames as I have on my previous videos. <laughs> you never know, you know, it might make sense and everybody has the idea and I too also have my own perspective of this Twin Flame. I have my 3D perspective of it where it really is annoying to do the patience, the ego, the control, let go, let go, delay, delay, patience. It's like, what? <laughs> but to even get caught in a fad is ridiculous itself. I mean, it's just, it is a sense of guidance. I mean, it's not ridiculous. It is real. It is happening. But there is been a creative of a fad to it I think and it is um, amazing how these people leave messages to the people of Twin Flames to have patience just wait there's delays somebody probably fucked up and so there's delays a little bit you know <laughs> And you just really never know. Sometimes it could be like a month delay or it could be like a year delay. And then they tell you to detach. Okay, I didn't listening to astrology and tarot and I'm really not making fun of it. And I'm really making lighter of things because, you know, in 3D perspective, you know, there's still that funny, annoying part of this whole thing. But of course, you know, in your awakening consciousness, you know, a little bit more enlightened, a little bit more of your higher self, and a little bit more of, um, you know, awakened and all that stuff, um, you get it. You get it, right? I get it. It makes sense. But it's still annoying, you know? It's still you still sense the the initial response to it where the collective has their initial response it is it makes you get more impatient because it's constantly like patience 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 
it's any twin flames um, it's been it's been really um, 3d emotionally wrenching and really been a lot of um, work inner work a lot of head work a lot of inner work a lot of soul work um, I am trying to talk slower and it's 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 adjustment because I listened to my other podcast that I just did last time and I talk so fast that I even wore myself out but do let do not let that stop you from listening to it because it has good stuff just it just breathe for me transmute the energy for me and breathe for me when you listen to it and you feel you're running out of breath because I was running out of breath possibly I don't even know because it was going really fast you know and I have to just learn to calm down and slow down a little bit and kind of explain to you um, <clears throat> in a much slower pace you know like calm my ass down type theory so um, Twin Flames and Sacred Union, what is his whole mission and project of Twin Flames? What is this thing about? I, I truly believe that Twin Flames has been around for many, many years. They have been the continual um, evolvers and game changers of what love is and within um, culture, humanity, beliefs, fad, trend, whatever you want to call it, they have been around um, constantly really um, helping um, humanity evolve through different faces and different cultures, different um, energy, you know, faces of life to where we can definitely evolve to our higher self, you know, to the highest, best we could evolve with time and all that stuff. They're like ground workers, you know, right? <clears throat> in theory and um, they carry of course love right and um, unfortunately they carry unconditional love which is a lot more complicated in a 3d level right unconditional love is definitely a lot more trying during 3d annoying moments and it's definitely trying when you're hurting and when you're feeling 3d stuff and all that you know is so it's it's really, um, in a sense, a challenge until you you master the idea of um, and accept and allow that unconditional love just to burn bright and shine and really accept. I mean, that acceptance that everybody's being asked of and that surrender goes so much deeper than a simple, okay, I'll accept it. All right, I surrender. It's literally not that easy. It's not just that. It's, it's a lot more inner work. It's definitely a lot more um, love to really shine bright with. A lot more of that unconditional love to hold on to and have faith, hope, and all that stuff, you know, to trust yourself that what you're feeling is not delusional, that you have that inner knowing and truth, and to have faith faith in yourself that's the biggest thing the twin flames hold locked tight as long as they they trust themselves because in that trust themselves is what connects the two you know if you start to doubt yourself because in so-called life calls you a little crazy you know of course you could seem very crazy if you're doing like egotistic stuff and action and reaction you know and really not trying to really calm yourself down and you know there's just many facets of this whole twin flame thing but mainly the twin flame carries unconditional love with them and it's the purity of unconditional love it is that um that innocent child of love of that they just could never lose through all your life it's something you always had in you and I mean everybody could never lose it in theory it's just so we are all fair and stuff but you know with the twin flames and um, the main not main because it makes us a little bit more um, important because everybody is important everybody plays the part but the twin flames that plays the uh, energy um, evolver or energy uh, mover game changer whatever we want 
to call it twin flames um, you know changing the perspective and really or maybe not even changing the perspective it's really bringing the truth to unconditional love you know it's really bringing unconditional love to the truth same thing <laughs> You know, so that's what these Twin Flames' purpose and mission is. And right now it's really big because there's so many transformations and so many ego breaking that many people cannot understand because it is what the heart wants. You know, the heart wants what it wants. And everything above it is like ego, you know, logic, mental, you know. Uh, it's just... And it's really, really wanting to come out. That unconditional love really wants to shine. It really wants to, to, to really come out of you and allow it to really <clears throat> be given to that, you know, person you, you have eyes for. You know, the person you're, I don't know, horny for maybe. I don't know. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, that's what it is. It's like, everything just does not make sense. And you're like, but I love the dude. What the hell? This is annoying. You know, it's like, at the same time, you understand it. Like, but I get it. I get it. It makes sense. It's so pathetic. Yeah, but it is unconditional love. It's really not pathetic. But in, in theory, <clears throat> maybe I might be this... You know, one of those, like, I'm ex I'm speaking from a 3D point of view of me because, you know, I'm still a girl. <laughs> you know, and it, it has been a journey to, and as we know, most um, feminine has been evolving. So a lot of the feminine has been going through a lot of evolution, um, a lot of transformation. And it's, it's not... A bad thing or a good thing or annoying thing or not but I mean annoying it's just a funny way of kind of like oh, I gotta do this again have I not learned the lesson last time oh you know it's it's that's my personal annoying I mean it definitely might not be yours but but you know what I mean I mean I get over it. I get it I get it my higher self kicks in and it's that self can be annoying sometimes you know the duality of things so but twin flames the sacred union is once unfortunately you know they say it what a lot of the twin flames i think questions um why can i not purge and learn the lessons while i am with my twin flame <laughs> i mean I'm not gonna lie to you. I've had the question myself for a couple seconds, and um, you know, I get it. I get it. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But what it is is that because twin flames, there's a thick fog of codependency that has been created unconsciously, subconsciously, or even consciously within relationships, within marriage, within a union, within a partnership in crime, within a power couple, within a twin flame, a soulmate, within a two that will carry on energetically um, into the future, you know, uh, air to earth. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what it is. So, and they they carry such a massive energy that such um and the codependency fog has been really been created not purposely i wouldn't think i would think it was just uh, a build up from the subconscious unconscious um creation of the title and the responsibilities and the determination distinguish you know the roles and all that stuff got built up and those create you know unconsciously possibly create um a dense fog of codependency and in order for that codependency to break away is to um, be separated <laughs> you make sense I get it you know it's it's to to be able to separate and be on your own and to trust that love and to really trust that love it's a very 
not a very hard thing. I, I'd hate to be to say that. I mean, for other people, I mean, it's very, really, it's not a very hard thing. Okay, let's change that up. It's not a hard thing. It is definitely a challenge because um, the ego has to get broken down through the separation until you get to the point of understanding that that love is just is. That you know that you love each other. That somehow that is greater than anything than physically them being with somebody and you physically being with somebody. Unfortunately, that's not how it's going to turn out, you know, but you just got to accept that idea because you've got to transmute that that's how it's been happening before. The transmute, the energy of um, to be able to unconditionally love that because unconditional love heals. So you, when you unconditionally love the idea, meaning that you've accepted that you just love this person, you don't have to be with them. They could do their own thing and you would just love them. There's no sense of, I need love back. You need to say hi to me, you know. It's just a one-way thing, you know. It's unconditional love. Because once it becomes a two-way thing, it becomes conditional, right? The two-way idea is very conditional. Preferably, we want two-way, but unconditional love is one way, right? So it just goes one way. And then the fact that we're already split, you know, as long as it goes one way, it helps the person unconsciously, subconsciously, you don't even know. And it helps you because it builds you such great integrity, respect, and honor within yourself. And to know to be to be that of love, right? And that's where that whole theory of Christ consciousness comes in within the Twin Flames idea. And <clears throat> what it would be like once you've, you've gotten with your Twin Flames, I'm not going to lie to you. I believe a lot of um, abundance and creative ideas will come to play uh, in many ways <laughs> hopefully in the bedroom you know and and it's because it's there's delays be patient delays patience you know what have I not worked on what's taken forever is it his fault is it his fault <laughs> You know, so what is it? What is, so you get the just why it's not anybody's fault just to make sure, but it is funny, you know. I I it's really more like um a really building within each other, the effort of each other. So that um every time you feel inspired, you know, there's that healing that's just happened. Every time you felt refreshed, there's that um new energy just entered you. Excuse me guys, I made some in my nose. Um and so for Twin Flames, um, I, I, I command you guys. And for those who ever, ever thought about being a Twin Flame, even you are a Twin Flame, okay? So don't be like, I want to be a Twin Flame, but I'm not. That doesn't even matter because you are. You know what I mean? And I I mean, it's a, it's, it's a great adventure because I, I believe the reward is greater. It's a lot happier. It's a lot... Uh, it's really a lot fulfilling from the inside versus um, continuously trying to fulfill from the outside uh, to the inside. It's going to be more fulfilling from inside to out. <clears throat> and that's a great partnership. Who wouldn't want that partnership, right? I, I, that'd be awesome. What, but what does that entail? Does that entail he can't go out with his buddies? Because he might be screwing some chick. Right? That's that's like a little thing we got to get rid of. And it's annoying because whatever. Okay. So we got to get rid of that even idea. You know, okay, this, let me go. I, I, I kind of, I don't know where that went. Somebody, shh. Okay, so let's see um, what it entails to be with your sacred. Of course, it's going to take some work. It's going to take some adjustment. Communication is really big communication if you have not noticed everybody has been worked on hermiting like people have been kind of suppressed yet very been a, been really pushed to communicate to their to really been pushed to be their authentic self and be okay with that and not be scared of what that and how the universe might accept yourself you know and know that the universe got you back as you become authentically yourself right so as and that goes for everybody but twin flames, that's really necessary. That's really pushed upon in a small amount of time. Like, if this got to get flushed out in a month, it's going to get flushed out in a month. And you know what? Events are going to happen. Boom, 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 boom. Clear. 
you transmute the energy. You go unconditional love. Um, and knowingly, sometimes, of course, the ego still plays in as a reaction to certain things that play in your life. But of course, that's a process to be learned. There's quite a few things, you know, but it is just really embodying unconditional love and being able to follow your heart. And your heart leads to each other. You know what I mean? So if you don't lead to each other, you'll follow your heart. You're pretty much going to have a, uh, an okay life. <laughs> but to have the greater love you have to follow your heart and that's one to start with because that carries a lot of um, inspiration motivation a teamwork although you may not need it you don't need it you don't that's the thing about it you will have to attain and gain that yourself right you don't need it but together but really following your heart that's just part of you right you could do everything else yourself but following your heart you could do that yourself. Unfortunately, your heart follows to him. So that kind of, why you kind of would have to go that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? And there's been many ways where the, the feminine and the masculine has been blocked to follow their heart because obviously um, there's still a lot of confusion to where the heart goes, right? You think your heart goes this way, but really... You, you have to work on this to kind of see another layer of really where your heart goes. You know. So, and what is it like? Okay, let me get back to the, to the topic. I don't know if I have time on this recorder. Um, I really want this on my podcast. Listen, subscribe on iTunes and SoundCloud, guys. I The goal this week is to really get it out there. Um, I've been working with a couple of people for, uh, uh, to do some audio, and I really appreciate you guys reaching out. Thank you so much. And I've had a couple of people reach out to me in regards to their enlightening process and has I've been able to resonate with them. And that's really awesome because um, you're not crazy. <laughs> you get through it. And you, you, you make a difference. And I, I, I want, I'm I glad to be here, a, a friend or guidance for you, um, of uh, uh, to learn from you as well. So, but yes, how would it be like to be in a sacred union? Well, it's really unconditional love, right? So you will choose. You will both know within your free will, choose to be together. You know, you will choose to go home early and not hang out with your friends. Not because you think she'll get mad, because you want to do that for her. Like I say, unconditional is one way. Um, you know, I get news from like Trump and stuff and I'm not quite sure if I really want to dive into that yet because I will, I will. I think it's part of the, it's, it's the nature of the beast to change things around. Uh, these are the people who are uh, up there that can make a difference. So hopefully we can touch their, you know, their, uh, listen to my podcast and my video and kind of, you know, get some greater ideas to where you can better um, follow your authenticity with the responsibility you're given um, for the world even, you know, for the country, for many, many people, for many, many souls. And how can you make each one count, you know? So we'll have to look into that. It's a definitely big energy to delve into. Uh, I'm going to go into that. I have quite a few topics. I think this twin flame is a big idea. And so what it's like to be. So it's, uh, it, to me, it's like, you know, the one way thing, like, I will, uncon I will just make you this food every night because I want to make you food every night. And if you don't appreciate it, that's fine. Because I choose to make it for you. That's it. You know, if you choose not to appreciate it, that's that's on you. And my, cho my choice at that moment is to either keep doing it or to not, you know, for you. But my choice is to unconditionally love you. It's not, this is not whether it makes you mad or makes you upset or whatever. It shouldn't even make him mad, really. <laughs> You know what I mean? The whole theory of um, you, it's a one-way thing. Like, I want to spend time with you. That's why I'm always with you. Not because you always want me to be with you, you know. Or I feel like I have to be with you. Or I, I, I you know, I feel bad when I'm not with you. It's not like that. That is all going to be race. It's going to be I want to be with you because I, I want to be with you. Like, what is that? Yoko Ono and... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Yoko Ono and that... <clears throat> the couple, John Lent was something, 
I don't want to say the wrong thing, but those are hardcore twin flames. They are definitely game changers. Um, and I really love the message to get out because it's true. You, he's choosing to hang out with him. You know, he's like, I'm fine. You know, it's his choice. She's not making me. She's, you know, I'm not, I'm not obligated to, I don't have to, I want to because I love her. You know, that's, what it's going to be like and that's going to be the normal that's going to be the 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 really the the start of a wildfire um within the collective and the government and the world and the decade and the century and the Korean age whatever you guys want to call it but it's definitely that's where we're heading and it sounds really crazy. It sounds really massive and like, what the F? Because I think all of this that we have can still exist yet with unconditional love existing within this bubble of 3D and matrix we live in. It doesn't have to be this 3D or that. It all really is all here, right? It's all here. The, the, the thing we really have to evolve is the perspective because that's what changes your scenery no no one changes but your scenery your everything like you stand in a pod thing whatever a stage and you turn you go around yeah that's it and your scenery it changes and you stay the same same spot and same center so it's really really very important to um really change like I could go around this thing and view it as oh fun it's really fun oh then I could view it as like oh he hates me I can't believe he did this oh, oh I can be this oh my god hey he's such a great person and we all go through stuff <laughs> I for my podcast listener I did a little demonstration and did a little circle on the chair and how your scenery can change or whatever you go in circles it's that whole theory does that make sense to you guys because I think it makes sense because everything changes you see you really uh, uh, your center it's your center that gets tested all throughout as long as you can wing it and really um, find the unconditional love for it because it Sometimes there's a lot of humbling and acceptance and forgiveness that requires from you and some confidence and really trusting and having faith in yourself. And so that is the ideal, you know, sacred union, the marriage is going to be just a celebration. Yes, it could still exist within the marriage of the government and taxes, but we must lose, not lose, smudge. Okay. Smudge it. Big little smudge we must smudge the line that makes that s somehow puts pressure on people with, with the paper. It it puts condition on the love that is joining through union or marriage. Um, some puts some kind of weird vibe to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so we want to really smudge that out because we really want to make it where the union is a lot more sacred. It's a lot more about love than really. Um, you know there is still responsibility of course within the 3d but if it's within unconditional love and I think it will all work out but it must start within the union at first you know it, it's it's and then it's just like I said a wildfire and it has to be just unconditional love and I have experienced unconditional love and and I, I in a way you know it's it's very it's very soothing and I think that's where I kind of I know uh, I've had I've dated a guy that was super busy, but he found every free time to hang out with me, and I think that's wonderful. That's unconditional love because I don't have to ask him. He's always making sure that he wanted to do and you know, hang out. It was never uh, I would have to be like, well, you're so busy. It's unbelievable how um, and I would you know it go it's one way unconditional is one way you know it becomes round and round in infinity of course in theory but it is still a shooting out you know kind of maybe it might be too late. I don't know I'll explore that theory a little bit later but right now it sounds really good when I say one way but um yes so and um it's 
I know this next two years, I feel there's been a lot of changes. That's really um, not, e not just restructuring the inner of the foundation of sacred union. They're also restructuring the external um, structure of um, foundation for sacred union. So that's where a lot of the delays is, you know, and um, I feel the union should be good, right? And so um, one thing to add is, do you have one or two twin flames? You know, I've been told I had two twin flames, and I really like this chick that told me. Um, she's Pamela Arlen, and she does the channeling. Um, and I did a session with her, and she's really good at channeling, I have to say. I She's um, channeling is her deal kind of thing. And because you can tell the difference and I channeled Jesus and that's definitely a different story and I know the diff I know the energy as well and when she channeled Jesus it was like hey girl that's exactly what I said oh wow that's pretty good yeah that was a good channeling but when she told me I had two twin flames it was really quite interesting. What, what, what does it require for two twin flames? I guess the understanding of uh, free will, that one may not step up to it and the other will. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, whatever. Then you just got unconditionally love that, right? So uh, it's, it's a quite interesting theory. And uh, uh, does it even, I mean, if it go up to two, can you go up to three? <laughs> How do you blast your energy flame out there in the world? <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. I'm not laughing at the whole idea of her. I'm not I'm not laughing at that whole theory. I, it, it, it could be funny. It's funny. <laughs> Blasting out your flames everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't quite channeled and maybe I should, you know, let's see. Uh, let's see if there's, you know, the whole twin flame. <laughs> I don't even want to know. <laughs> you know, it just, you know, being psychic, that's one thing about being psychic is that you don't want to know. I don't want to know sometimes. I don't want to read the cards. I don't want to know. I want to be able to live it spontaneously. I want to be able to live it like a human being and react and be able to really wing. How, that's the only way you'll know you're able to wing yourself if you didn't know it was coming. And it's annoying. I still, there's things I definitely want to know, but there's definitely things that you, that will come that you never expected. And that's when you're your strength is really tested as a twin flame, as a person, as an indiv individual, as a, you know, a character, integrity, and all that stuff. And you got to have to wing it. And who do you have? Yourself. You have to wing it, right? Not that person. You got to wing it, right? It's quite interesting. And so that's where it comes really all this supposed purged and purged and loneliness, depression, suppression, blah, 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 that comes and plays with it. Lethargic sickness, you know, it, it's all coming out in many different forms, guys. It's coming out, it's purging out in so many different forms. And be, just surrender, you know, this is like buckle up and sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Because if you think about it, even if you listen to astrology itself, it, everything is figured out. And I have a theory that it might be figured out. I mean, everything's already figured out, right? Or else it wouldn't be happening for a reason, right? Because if you didn't have a reason, it wouldn't, things wouldn't be happening for a reason, you know what I mean? So sometimes some of these theory really like boggles my mind, you know, like, okay, you said this, but then it's this, and then it's this, you know, it's just the way my mind rolls. And so, but yeah, this whole, but it's really just unconditional love. I hope my theory makes sense to you guys and um, shoot me up, subscribe, five star, and definitely comment. I really, and subscribe on YouTube, SoundCloud as well. You know, I, my channels is a little, I don't, I don't really know if I really want to create a new channel. This is just me. You know, I want to create different shows on my channel and I have many facets of, um, ways to share some of my thoughts and theories that I'm, I, I, it fascinates me and it fascinates, I hope it fascinates you, you know, so, and I do appreciate you being here and I do appreciate those people that reach out to me. I do suck sometimes at responding, but please know that I, I do read them and I'm truly grateful and sometimes I'm really trying to catch up on responding, you know, catching back up, like 
2017 was just, I was cut off from, I suppressed myself, possibly it is a choice or whatever, you know, but, um, it was the way I learned. It was the way I processed and it was the way I grew as a, as a healer to be a healer, um, um, as I am is, or will be, <laughs> you know, so yes, the twin flames hang in there. Um, it is simple yet so complicated. I know, I know, I know. If you have any questions, shoot me up. Um, let's see if we can, um, give you some answers through your confusions. Um, yeah, like I said, sometimes you don't want to know. Sometimes it, I think the process comes faster when you approach things a little bit that way. There's a lot more delays when you react upon a possible, like a manipulating and maneuvering a little bit more of reality than, because it's been figured out, you know, so, and we'll explore that theory of web of, hmm, but you said, <laughs> Let's see if my recorder is still recording it. It's recording it. So it will be on iTunes and SoundCloud, guys. I I thought about doing my reading. Should I do a card reading for you guys who are... Um, it's not super planned. I apologize. Uh, I'm getting more and more of uh, what how I would like to um, do this whole channel thing. So but I, I, I'm just going to do my reading separately. But I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to do it on a different channel. I do like the whole idea of it here. But this is a twin flame. All about twin flames. And all you twin flames out there. <laughs> chill out. Enjoy. Sit, sit, sit back. Relax. And enjoy the ride. And have faith. Be strong. Unconditionally love. And follow your heart. And trust. Namaste, guys. Namaste. 